Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through example in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at three different methods. That is div using, div a sock using, and div keys using. Now, this is a very advanced way of being able to extract one array from a different array. So I'm going to be showing you some very advanced examples and uses for this. So bear with me. It is a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, they are extremely powerful. So let's jump right in. Let's say that we have a collection. And this collection has three values. For now, we're going to say 10, 25, and 50. So these are percentages, right? So it's 10%, 25%, and 50%. So let's say that maybe we had a different variation of these same numbers. And that would be something like 0 0.1, 0 0.25, and 0 0.50. So we would have to take each of these and do times 100 to move the decimal place over two times. And then we would be able to do our diff. And this is a very common thing that you will come across when using percentages. Some people will have the percentages as their actual 100 based value and some will have them as their counterpart. So how would we do this? That's where diff using comes in. So let's return collection. And the method we're going to use, like I said, is diff using. Now diff using will accept an array as its first parameter. So we'll say 0.1 equaling to 10% and 0.25 equaling to 25%. Now as a second argument, you pass in a closure. And that's going to give you the first value plus the second value, which we'll call A and B. And then you have to return 0 if it matches and negative 1 if it doesn't. So how would we be able to do this? Well, let's take a quick stab at it. At first, I'm going to die and dump the results, right? And we know that we have to take, for example, B and times it times 100. And let's see what that gives us. So 2,500. Hmm, that's interesting. And that's one thing to know about this. The way that it goes about it is not very logical. It's not the way that you would think. It's not comparing 10 to 0.1, but rather it's actually comparing 10 to 25. And then it compares 25 to 50. It goes back and forth. And if you really want to see it in action, go ahead and dime dump every single sequence. It does this in a very peculiar way, and we don't have a ton of time to cover why it does that, but just know that it may not give you the exact results that you're looking for. So in that case, I'm actually going to dump this instead of die and dump. That way we get every single result. And there we go. So we're going to ignore all of these big values here, right? We're looking for this. So this is 25. And right away, we see a problem, right? We see that there's a 0, 0.0 at the end. No problem. I can actually just typecast that into an integer. And let's see what we have now. Whoops, looks like that didn't work. What we actually need to do is also wrap this in parentheses. And sure enough, there we go. So we have 25. That looks more like what we're looking for. So then what do we need to check here? Well, we need to check if A triple equals that, which in this case we'll know at some point will be 25 and 10. In that case, we're going to return 0, right? Otherwise, we're going to return negative 1. Let's go ahead and change this to just a return statement. And let's take a look at the results. And sure enough, there we are. So the difference is 50. So we have 10, which is 10%, represented here by 0.1. We have 25% represented here by 0.25. And finally, we have 50%, which is not existent here. So of course, that's what gets returned. There is another version of this. And in the other version of it, of course, we are looking at the fact that you may need to do this with the keys. Let's take a look at this. Let's say that we have 10% are represented by apples. 25% is banana. And then 50% is coconuts. A coconut. Okay. So if we had... 0.1%. We're going to turn this into a key that will be associated to Apple. Let's open this up a little bit here so we can see better. And then we have 0.25. Again, we need to wrap this in strings. And then we're going to say this is pairs. Okay. 
So a totally different thing. Now let's take a look at the results. And it looks like we made a little typo here somewhere. Let's check this out. And of course, we just forgot to change this over to div asoc using. Okay. And there we go. There we have the results. So we are able to match these two arrays that don't seem to really match, but we're able to do what we need to do to them to actually get them to match. So 10% are apple, and that's represented by an integer here, and then it's represented by a 0.1 here. And then we have 25% as pears, which does not match bananas, and in that case, of course, that does get put in our actual final array. We see it here, and coconut gets ignored altogether because it's not existent here. Well, in this case, we see here that 25% equals bananas and 25% also equals pears. And that may be okay. And if it is, then of course, we have a third method here that we can call div keys using. And div keys using will ignore the string altogether. And of course, it will eliminate this 25% represented here by 0.25, even though it says banana and then it says pears it will ignore that because it's only looking at the keys. Now let's take a look at a whole different example here altogether. So if you're working with something like product codes, sometimes there's things like dashes and spaces and different characters that wouldn't really allow you to compare one to another, even though you kind of know that they are the same. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say that we have a product and its product code is 123A-G. And then we have another product code and it's 456A-G, okay? Now, I know that 123AG is equal to 123A-G. However, we cannot compare those two things because of course, they technically are not the same thing. So how would we be able to do that? So let's return collection and then div using and like I said before, I want to do 1, 2, 3, A, G. That is exactly the same thing in my project. Let's put in our closure here, function, A and B. And so how would we do that? All right, so we know that our product code can be found by doing a string replace, right? That's all we need to do. And we're going to be searching for a dash, and we're going to substitute it with nothing, and we're going to be taking a look at the first array, right? A representing this top array here. So then it's a simple return statement at this point. We're going to say return if code triple equals B. Well, in that case, we have a match. Go ahead and ignore that result. Otherwise, keep searching. Let's take a look at the results. And sure enough, we have a returning array of 456 AG. So we were able to match 123A-G to 123AG. If we wanted to take a look at this in another different scenario, what if the codes were actually the keys? And we needed to match them to maybe the quantity that we have of that particular product. So we'll say that 123A-G, I currently have 10 in stock. And at 456, we have 25. So in this case, we need to switch over to div associate using instead and then in here let's put a quantity of 35 just to see what happens so they're both still showing up so remember a soge they both have to match let's match the quantities and boom it's gone now let's say that you didn't care about the quantities remember in that case you can use keys and then we can switch this back to 35 and we get the exact same result you would also get the same result if you make it 10, which is the matched quantity. So this is another really powerful example of how you can manipulate the keys or the values or look through key value pairs to be able to get the diff to work in a very advanced level. Now I do have another video on diff, diff soak and diff keys. So you can take a look at that. At the time of this recording, I do want to note that the Laravel documentation does not have these three methods in it. So they're kind of undocumented at this stage.